As I sit here opening up this strap, a question comes to mind. Why is it so hard to find the right strap for just that right watch? I'm not sure why, but I just never seem to be able to find a strap that I just think perfectly complements a watch, particularly a watch that comes on a leather strap. I just don't like leather straps, so I'm always hunting for an alternative. And today, let's see if we find the right one. Welcome to another episode of Pocket Watch Time. My name is Patrick W. And as I slightly mentioned in the introduction here, I'm a wristwatch fan that doesn't really like dress watches and definitely doesn't like watches that come on a leather strap. The problem, I've got a couple watches that might classify as dress watches. Don't worry, they're water resistant. I make it my pledge. I'll never buy a watch that doesn't have pretty decent water resistance. But some of these quasi dress watches, well, they came on a leather strap. So I feel it's my mission that I have to find a strap that's just a bit more rugged, a bit more versatile, and something that at least has the same waterproofness as the watch does. So I've already had many adventures with this, several watches that I've tried different straps on, different materials, different manufacturers, and in a couple cases, I've had some success. In most cases, I have not. So in today's episode, we're taking a gamble. I found a relatively inexpensive strap on Etsy. I think I've bought from this seller before. I think last time, I wasn't really that impressed. It wasn't anything wrong with the strap. I just don't think the combo I made really worked out. Today, I'm looking for a strap for my new Crador. If you haven't seen the video for this amazing watch, please go check it out. This is the Crador GBLG999. It's an amazing Crador with a platinum case and the first spring drive movement. And yes, it's 100 meters water resistant. So this absolutely awesome, kind of, dress watch deserves something better than just a leather strap. Originally this watch came on an alligator leather strap. I'm not sure what happened to that strap. It's probably been destroyed over the decades. This watch came to me on a rather inexpensive black leather strap. Is it a bad strap? No. Does it have any personality? Not a bit. So I found a strap that I hope is a reasonable placeholder. Is this going to be a forever strap? Nope. The main reason, this strap isn't waterproof. But for the price tag of this little strap, I don't care. If it looks good, I can wear it hard, and I don't really worry if it weathers. Maybe it'll even look better. As a long-term option for this watch, well, let's see how this looks. But right now, I don't really know what I want to do. I want something that's a little bit dressy, but not too dressy. And I definitely want something that's waterproof. Not that I really plan swimming in this watch, but there's just something about a waterproof watch needing a waterproof strap that just makes me feel good. Don't think this watch will look good on rubber. They do make some treated leathers out there that are waterproof, or maybe sailcloth. There's tons of options out there. So I hope you enjoyed this little rant on watch straps. Why is it that it's so hard to find a good watch strap for the watch that you love? Sure, I could probably go out and find the original Crador strap. I could have some polished alligator on my wrist. It would be super formal, and it would probably look great, but it's just not my style. And hey, it's my watch. Shouldn't it match my style? So for all of my wristwatch enthusiasts out there, be your own man, be your own woman, pick a strap that you like. So I'm dying to know, what do you think about this combo? Do you hate it? Do you love it? Do you think it works? Do you think it's a hot mess? Leave me a comment below. As I said a little earlier, it's not a forever strap, but I'm hoping this little pop of color gives this watch a little bit more personality than a plain old black strap. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next week in a new episode. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe to Pocket Watch Time. I have lots of reviews on watches and on pocket watches. If you've got any questions or comments, please leave them below.